Hi friends, it's Em and welcome back to another video. Today we are setting up my February bullet journal, just my regular catch-all, and we are doing a tea theme. I was really excited about this. I thought at first that I wanted to do something like super whimsical, but to, I think we decided to kind of keep it neutral, maybe a little romantic for February. So like pinks and browns, I don't know. I think we, you know, we might go back to a bunch of fun colors for, for March, but for February, I think this is the vibe. <laughs> I will say that I learned a lot of things during this creation of this spread that I'm hoping I remember for the future. Namely, that if I put a Tombow marker on, on top of pencil, it will not erase. <laughs> If you use like a Crayola super tip, it will. And so I think that's part of my, my problem. Why I was like, oh, well, why, why doesn't this work all of a sudden? I also had some issues with the fine liner that I was using. I was using the Tombow Mono drawing pen, uh, like kind of smudging with the water-based Tombow pen. I thought they would work together, but I'm guessing either I didn't let it dry long enough or like it's water-based um, ink or something. And so if it gets wet, it, you know, smudges. So perhaps I will use my Pigma Microns. And yeah, because those ones are waterproof. That's what it is, that's what it is. Okay, so learn from my mistakes. <laughs> okay, but tea. Like, as we know, I've fallen in love with tea lately. And I like a nice warm cup of tea right before bed. Chamomile gets me right to sleep. And Gil made me this tea stained paper. So what he did is he used some black tea that we have. And I think like the stronger we brew it, right, the darker the pigmentation on the paper would be. But this was just really, really pretty. I loved how it turned out. And he was sending me, because I, I was in San Francisco this last week for a conference, so he was sending me live um, development photos of the papers as they, <laughs> as they sort of like steeped in a way, um, and it was it was so fun. And this is just like regular printer paper and then some tea, so it does not break my crafting no spend. So I'm pretty happy about that. I also am sort of feeling like I need a little bit of a change in my bullet journal and I'm not sure what that means yet. I've been really inspired by watching uh, Vero over at Vero Blue Joes and I think I'm gonna need to add like a calendar or something. I don't know. My It's just that my social media bits and bobs it's like if I don't know when I if I don't you know set a fake due date for myself, I never it never happens. This is the you know like my handwriting uh, tutorial that never happened. I put it on my list every month though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so I think that's something that I might add for next month. Additionally, something that happened to me while I was doing this, if I kind of cut most of it out on the right hand side once I do it, but. I did not wait for my Tombos to dry long enough before I erased over them and so they smudged. <laughs> and like, I, in some, at some point I thought I had waited long enough and I just like went with it. In other cases I was like, well, they're all gonna be smudged so I might as well smudge them a little more. <laughs> I think I was like, oh, I spilled tea on this page. Maybe that's why they're smudged. I don't know, I'm just trying to create like a rationale for myself. One of my big goals for February is to continue my crafting and books low spend. It's not a no spend, it's a low spend, but I, what is it? It's January 28th as I'm recording this right now, and I have, I'm fairly certain I have made it 30 days without ordering a book, which I'm just like, whoa, um, because it, it had just gotten out of control. I was like, oh, I need that book. I need that book. I need that book. So we're just kind of trying to like roll it back just a little bit. And similarly with, with crafting stuff and candles. Those are all things that were in, are in my, you know, my goal of reducing my consumption there. TBR cart out of control. <laughs> like, I don't know. And we're actually looking at potentially buying a house soon. So I need to be saving all of my crafting money and my books money and things like that 
for a down payment and closing costs and all of that stuff that I'm learning about just now. <laughs> but I'm hoping that I can get my 2023 taxes done super early and that will help with like that, you know, savings. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. Also, if you've been around here a while, I think I mentioned this in the last video, I'm not usually a horizontal planner, but I think that for my bullet journal, it is really working for me. Like for, for some reason, it is just like great, especially with the, with the Dutch doors. I want to get a little more creative with that, but like, like I've said before, you know, I'm not, I'm not like an artist by trade. And so, you know, if I can get away with doing less, I'm like, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do just eight teacups as opposed to coming up with like a conception of a teacup design for every single page. In my head, I had wanted to do like a stack of teacups or something, but yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm just, I just really like how neutral this is compared to how rainbow the uh, January spread was. Although I do still, the rainbows do make me very happy as well. It's just like what I needed right now was something calming, soothing, like a cup of tea. And so that was the vibe we were going for. In February, I also have a lot of like health stuff that I'm wanting to get done. Specifically, I'm trying to hopefully find a new primary care physician just because right now I go to like a minute clinic um, just repeatedly. <laughs> I think they're sick of seeing me, honestly. Um, and then I am actually seeing a dietitian for the first time. Uh, just to kind of like see what I'm doing right, see what I can be doing better and see if I'm fueling my body correctly. And also just hopefully getting to the bottom of why my nails are breaking so badly. I don't know if it's some kind of deficiency or like if I'm just eating something and this is my body's response to it. I don't know. That's sort of where we're at right now. <laughs> I also really like, so here, uh, I don't show it on camera because I didn't do it until later, but I do did go in and put um, the letter for the day of the week on each of the cups, which, I don't know, it just makes me really happy. Also because I started putting things on the wrong days because I don't remember what date it happens, but I do know that like on Monday I have therapy, and except I put it on Tuesday, you know? So that's sort of where we're at on that. I just, it looks so cute and they all have their little saucers. At least I think they all do. Oh, maybe, oh, I think I, that first one maybe doesn't have a saucer. Either that or I drew it on the exact same color. I hadn't like started alternating yet. That's okay. It'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> but this is definitely, like even, even without the, um, tea paper this is definitely something that's very doable very quick like you don't need to spend hours researching what teacups look like you can just kind of draw something that looks like a cup for the most part like you know artisans will do really cool shapes and things like that so i'm guessing that if you draw a cup in a shape a cup somewhere exists why i didn't erase this february before i wrote it i will never know <laughs> i'm just i'm irate i am i rate. So let me know in the comments what you have on your plate coming up for February. I still have a lot on mine that I'm, I'm <laughs> thinking about and kind of freaking out about a little bit, but I do want to hear what you're striving for in February. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos. There is going to be another setup for February as well as a flip through coming soon. Uh, and also like this video if you liked it. <laughs> uh, and as always, happy planning and enjoy the final flip through.